Michelle is making me some breakfast. Um, pancakes to be exact. One and a half cup. You just got a half cup there. If you really need No, I'll just be the better because I might have whipped it. Now I'm going to start going down. So it's recording. Okay. 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 Okay
I miss just going to work and I don't know being in such a great environment and atmosphere like you really can't explain it unless you've been there or you've done the program. I miss all my friends. <clears throat> you yeah. obviously <clears throat> we live in different states in Australia. Yeah. Um and just like always having the opportunity to like meet new people from all around the world. Um, I miss some of the junk food. Mm. Um, I don't really know what else. I just miss the whole thing. The whole atmosphere, the experience. I miss the people a lot. Yeah. And I think it's just seeing the park every day because in Australia we don't have yeah. Disney World or like we can't visit as often as people in America. Yeah, like we have to do almost a whole day of traveling to get there. Yeah. And it is also quite expensive. <laughs> um, what else do we I miss? miss? I think, <clears throat> yeah, I miss the people a lot. Yeah. And it's just, it's a very different experience. Yeah. You can't describe it to someone unless you've done it. Yeah. Like, we've always said that it's such an exhausting program, <laughs> mentally and physically, but it's all worth it in the end, and mm. the memories that you create are to last. Like to last and lifelong life. friendships. Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, how many times did you visit the park? Probably, well, every day, pretty much. Yeah. Um, we worked about six six days a week yeah. normally. Yeah. Um, sometimes five days a week, yeah. mostly six. six. Um, and then on your day off, you would either visit the park, go to Universal yeah. Studios, yeah. or you'd literally just be at home mm. sleeping, doing <laughs> chores, washing. Yeah. Like it's, shopping. Yeah. It's kind of hard to give like an exact number. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes like before or after you shift, you might like stay at the parks, do a ride or meet a character. I know sometimes yeah. when um, I did harder house shifts and I finished um, at like lunchtime, I would go and like meet a character or something after work before I went home and just like slept. slept. <laughs> For the next day. Yeah, but we can't give really an exact number, but we we're there for about almost six months. So that's like a lot of time. Yeah. What was your favourite ride and what was a memorable ride experience you had? That's such a hard question because... I know like, mine. Yeah, I... <sighs> I don't know because yeah. I have like a favourite ride in each well, park. What's your favourite ride in each park? Like the... Four dry parks. Yeah. Well, in Animal Kingdom, um, I love Everest. Like, that is mm. such a fun ride. And I remember when, like, my parents came to visit, I told Dad, like, he would love it, but he was so scared because like, it goes backwards and stuff. And But it was a good ride. Yeah. Um, and then for, like, studios, I'm still tossing up between Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. But as a kid... I used to love Tab going on Tab Terra, so maybe like that. In America? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's one at Dream World. <laughs> what, I didn't know which one you were talking about. Yeah. Well, the first time I went to Disney, I was in year six. Um, and they had the Tower of Terror, which was at Disneyland, but now it's not Tower of Terror, it's um, a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. They, they replaced it, but they still have it in Disney World. Um, so that's probably my favourite in studios. Um, Epcot? Epcot. <coughs> oh, the Frozen ride is just like so adorable, but it's I not like... It. Oh, it always had ridiculous rides, but I don't think it's my favourite. Um, I can't remember what the name is of the ride. Describe it. The one that's the... looks like you're flying. Oh, Soren. Soren. I think that is incredible how yeah how it makes you feel like you actually feel and like, you can smell it and like yeah yeah um, in Magic Kingdom I just it's so hard oh, probably a toss between um, Space Mountain mm. and Splash Mountain um, in regards to like a memorable ride experience I've had like I've had a lot but one of the ones that I can remember right now off the top of my head um, was me and my friend Eduardo we went on and <laughs> then we went on the Tower of Terror and we got books out in our glasses oh, yeah. and we pretended like we were reading um, and so when the, they took the photo like 
yeah. we were obviously doing that and that was just like really funny Fun. because other people were like screaming and like we were like that on the ride in the picture and we were just like chilling. Amy, what about you? My favourite ride was probably um, the new one in Pandora. Oh, the, I never got to go on that the one. The Flight of Passage. Yeah. That was my favourite. I'm so bummed because I didn't it feels that. so realistic. Yeah, like you sit on it and it's like I just don't know how to describe yeah. it. It's just like you're there. It was so real and it was so lucky because we only waited 20 minutes. Yeah, because we got fast passes. Yeah. Me and two of my friends, we just got fast passes like that. And yeah. um, I think my most that was my most memorable. I reckon. It really? Yeah. Yes. My favorite ride. Um, probably Sora. It is a good ride. I really liked Sora. Yeah, yeah like you just really appreciate what yeah. the effort and stuff that went into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm so bummed that I didn't get to go on Flight of Passage. Both times that I went, they had six hour waits. Yeah. And it broke down one of the days as well. Yeah. Because when we went, like it just opened. Like, yeah. It opened towards the end of our program. Yeah. Um, I did go on the other one though, the river, the, Na yeah. the Navi River Journey, one, yeah. but I didn't really like it. It was a bit boring. Yeah. Like it's nice to look at. It's not worth the wait. No, don't bother waiting up an hour for it. It's just not worth it. Alright. Anyway, um, oh, where was your favourite place to eat? I didn't eat everywhere. Neither. But I think... My favourite, like, fast food place was probably Casey's Corner. Mm -hmm. I just really, really like Casey's Corner. And I think the yeah. favourite restaurant I went to was Cinderella's Castle. Yeah. That, time. Oh, that was great. That was amazing. The food was great. Mm -hmm. The experience was great. What about yours? Yeah. For, like, fast food in the parks, um, oh, my God, I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, Which park? The Magic Kingdom. Whereabouts? The Mexican, the tacos. Um, um, oh. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I went there all the goddamn time. Yeah, um, pa Pecos. Pe Pecos. Pecos Bill. <laughs> what? Pecos. Pecos. Pecos Bill. Um, and I used to get so much sour cream. We all did. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of went overboard and we We got like, I think, two... Cup. Two like cups to each. A sour cream? Did we use it all? No. no. A bit wasteful, but um, oops. Our eyes were bigger than our stomach, yes. is what you would want to say. Um, there was also oh, a restaurant that I went to in Animal Kingdom. I can't remember. The, the one name. where you met Mickey and Minnie? No. No. Did you meet anyone? No, no. It's a fancy one. I went with Brendan. I didn't go oh. to any fancy restaurants. Oh, look, I'm going to have to insert the name because I can't remember what it was, but um, you, it, it was very small portions, but it was, the food was just... What is your best memory from the program? Well, <clears throat> I really don't want to pick one. Too many things... Like, there was too many good things that happened. Um, I'll just name, like, a couple because yep. I'm really indecisive. Um, one would be on one of our first nights that we that we, <laughs> we moved into the apartment. And, it was on our first yeah, night. Yeah, it was our first night. And, you know, we had a bit to drink and we had lots of food. And we literally put music on. Like, high school High school musical. musical. Um, there was like some Hannah Montana, yep. Lizzie McGuire. Everything. Mama Old Bia. school. Yeah. And we were just literally dancing around like, yeah. And it was like just so fun. Yeah. And I don't know, I was like, oh my God, like I get to spend the next six months with these girls. And like, I, we barely knew each other. And no. like, we all just clicked and we were like so lucky that we all did. Um, and probably another favorite moment of my program 
I would be able when I when we um did the dining in Cinderella's castle, yeah. like just to be inside the castle. And we were like one of the last people to leave the park. Yeah, as well, which was amazing. Yeah, and we um met this um security guard. Guy behind the castle. Guy behind the castle. Go follow him on Instagram. He's amazing. He took some pictures for us. And we took some like lying down on Main Street. Yeah. Like it was just a really... Where there wasn't anyone. Yeah. Um, so that was also a really good um, memory. Um, also like my last shift. Um, it was really emotional. And I don't know for me. It was such a good memory. Although it was a sad one. I was surrounded by like all my friends. And people I worked with. And... You know, the fact that my other friends were crying and stuff. It just Everyone just cries. Cries. And I don't know, it's just a beautiful moment to realise that I've made, like, true friends from all around the world. Anyway, <laughs> you? My best memory would probably be... I have a few. <laughs> like, the first one was obviously meeting everyone. Yeah. And that first night. Yeah. Um, I think my second one would be when Mitchell came to surprise oh, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good surprise. I helped orchestrate it. So he came all the way from Australia and surprised me. Um, I had no idea. Chelsea knew. I did. I had to keep it a secret for mm. ages. And yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Um, I think... What's another memory? I don't know. I think just like meeting every, like mm. have meeting everyone and making so many Friends from around the world. Yeah, like you just can't explain it. No, <laughs> we're probably repeating. Ourselves. Probably. All right, we'll move to the next yeah. one. All right. Um, who was your favourite character interaction? <laughs> These questions are hard. We um, can make it. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'll probably just pick two. One of them, uh, we did uh, me, Jesse, and Elise. We did. Uh, character dining um, at, at Hollywood Studios. Um, I can't remember which one it was because they have different themes for what season, like what season it is. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, at the end um, of the experience, you actually go and meet Mickey and he's dressed in a tux and it's super cute. Anyway, what happened in the, um, the interaction is that he noticed that I was wearing... Um, this Pandora ring that was from Disney and it's like in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head basically and he I don't know how he recognized it but he did and basically grabbed my hand kissed it and walked off with me and I'm like what about Minnie and he's like you know no I don't care yeah, about I Minnie that. and I just think like that was so cool to be able to recognize such a little detail on me like I don't know how it was possible but yeah. it was so that was probably one of my favourites. And then my second would be Tinkerbell. If you do not know... You're obsessed. I'm obsessed with Tinkerbell. The amount of Tinkerbell merchandise I have is insane. I'm mesmerised by her. Anyway, I met her many times on my program. And nearly every time I cried. What about you? Um, I think... Probably in Cinderella's castle where we met all the princesses. Yeah, oh, they were beautiful and they looked and sounded just like them. Yeah, like it was. It was just amazing. Like I felt like a little kid. Yeah, it, um, it was just magical. In there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then probably, probably when we went and saw. Um, Ariel and Eric and oh yeah um on the boardwalk yeah boardwalk yeah um Trattoria is what it's that's called. the one yeah yeah that was cool and like yeah. we actually had conversations with the with and the they characters. just came around and talked to us for ages yeah. and we could all get pictures with them like they weren't rushed or anything it yeah. was really good yeah that was nice yeah all right um would you work for Disney again yes. Like, if I had the opportunity, yes. yes. So, us Australians, we can only do the program once. So... We could work on the cruise ship. ship. Yeah. Um, around Australia and all that stuff. But that's about it. Like, we yeah. can't... Unless we get a visa, like, live over in America yeah. somehow and get yeah. some sort of visa <clears throat> or... Yeah. It would be very difficult to work yeah. there again. Yeah. 
Um, I know a few people after they extended their programs, they then decided to work for um, the cruise line. Um, it is very intensive though because you have to spend like a certain amount of time on the ship and then off. Like it's very like um, hard work. Yeah. Um, but that's like, we don't need to go into that. Um, but it's not for everyone. Um, but hands down. Um, Best I've, thing I've ever done. It changes you as a person. Yeah. Um, the life experiences you get are just... And you can't really describe it. Yeah. Unless you've done it. Unless you've done it. It's just... <sighs> Disney is such a great company um, in regards to just what they stand for, uh, their training, how they treat people. It's just... It's really They're great. standard and it, you come back and you still do everything. Yeah. You do a Disney like you'll be at work and you'll Disney point or you say hello princess to yeah. kids and they're like... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it just sort of puts into perspective some things and like... You work really long, hard, hot hours. So coming back to work in Australia was really easy, I'm not going to yeah. lie. Nothing, nothing compares to the hard work that we did over there. Anyway, that is the DCP alumni tag. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe this video. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.